Hey y'all today, yard sale day. Stay tuned. All right, guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Julian, also known as the Beard Thrift Machine here on YouTube, and I buy stuff and flip it online and make YouTube videos about it. Today is Saturday, and guess what? We do not have Kayla today. She has to work. We should call her boss or something and say, hey, she can't work on Saturdays anymore because it's definitely yard sale season. But she's working, so I'm all alone today. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Kayla's my girlfriend. And uh, this is a reselling channel. I do all reselling related things. I do what sold videos, what not sold videos, uh, hauls, garage sale videos, everything related on resale. I do it on this channel. Also, I do this full time. So I buy stuff low and sell for market value on places like eBay, Poshmark, Macari, Facebook Marketplace and make a full-time income doing it. So today, there is a couple yard sales in my area and there's not a whole bunch because they're calling for rain and when they call for rain, like nobody does yard sales. And if you do follow me on Instagram, my dog is back home. Uh, my dog's had a couple surgeries over the last couple of weeks and yesterday he had four more surgeries and it looks like he's doing pretty good. So he's back at the house. So everybody that, you know, shouted out the thoughts and prayers on Instagram, I much appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right, I got a Starbucks triple shot energy i got a gopro let's go yard sailing i'll take y'all along early uh, at a service that i love the church okay and i said to my wife she's in uh, crochet so i said i'd like to do that and she said yeah tuesday which i thought it was our church oh okay so i go so to, to benjamin okay. on okay. tuesday and i meet and i look around and i don't know one person oh shit and but they're friendly so Aww. i sat down and started crocheting with them i guess a year ago okay and that's when i Goes out here? Yep. You wouldn't happen to have any golf clubs, do you? Yeah, I did on two, right? Mm -hmm, right. This is five dollars a piece. Two hundred and fifty bucks. Does it come with the? Uh... That comes with the target. And 
the arrows. The arrows. There's X arrows there. Oh yeah. Man. Yeah. How much for the for these? They go new. One is two twenty-five, and the other's two hundred. Mm -hmm. And we were hoping to get a hundred each. A hundred each. But if you want both of them, we'll do it for one fifty. One fifty. Now the price is getting a little bit enticing. <laughs> we have one fifty. Uh. Yeah, they are nice. Um. One do one twenty, and I'll take them both. One fifty is the lowest. Mm -hmm. I think that's a good deal. I'll take it. I was gonna say they've got all the bells in this. <laughs> I was like, does this one have? Unit. I think this one even has brakes. It, oh, they both have brakes. <laughs> yeah, they both have brakes. The one. This one, the wheel just goes straight. This one, the wheel does a multi thing. Oh, cool. That's why one was more than the gotcha. other. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. They are completely adjustable, both of them, this way. So if you want it more upright. Oh, cool. Of course, the they've got, slide out yeah. the bags on both of them. They got so fancy nowadays. I remember when I was a kid, I had like the one with the, the one wheel or two wheels. <laughs> got you know, a place to strap yourself up yeah. and do all yeah, sorts Yeah, I'll do 150 on both of them. That'll work. I appreciate it. Yeah. Throwing the old Nike bag. I'll do that. <laughs> I appreciate it. It is. Oh, cool. I'm like, I see something. <laughs> yeah. I have a YouTube channel. Oh, cool. And go around and go to garage sales and show people what I find. Oh, fun. How many followers? Uh, I got a little over 3,000. Oh, that's nice. Hopefully you find something here. We have some stuff. <laughs> that's a cool hat. I stole that from my husband's closet. He doesn't know. <laughs> One day he'll be like, where's my Where's hat? my like, dolphin hat? Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Alright, so I'm back at the house. It's actually like four days later after the yard sales. And I'm going to show you what I got. I paid $265 for everything I'm about ready to show you. I did overpay for a couple things. It was one of those things I thought it was going to be worth a lot more money than it actually was. But then when I got it home and I started to do my research, it was really not going to make as much money as I thought. I will tell you this, the one guy on the video that came into that one uh, yard sale, he got me off my game so fast because I was there first, but when he came in, he literally was just pointing stuff that he wanted, which made me move faster. And I think I missed a whole bunch of stuff there, but I'll tell you what. That guy knew exactly what he was going after and good for him because he got a whole bunch of good stuff for cheap that I just was lallygagging around, I guess. But I'll show you what I got. It wasn't too terribly bad. Let me flip the camera around and we'll go from there. All right, we'll start off with the golf clubs. Paid $5 a piece for these golf clubs. And this one's actually not too bad. This one's a Ping Putter, as you can tell right there. Ping Zing Putter, not like too terribly good. Then we got some Callaway stuff. I always like picking that stuff up. King Cobra's always good. This top flight, this is a chipper. And um, I usually don't pick up top flight stuff, but since it was a chipper, I actually am going to pick that one up. And it does go for, I think, about 20 bucks. And then you do have this nice Titleist. I think this is actually going to be the most expensive club. And then a nice 
Titleist Wedge. Again, all those cost at $5 a piece, so not too bad. You did see me pick up this big saw right here. Hitachi is a really good brand name to look out for for any type of saw. And uh, this miter saw, it's in really good condition. Even comes with the bag. Got a little wear back there, but not too bad because if you look up this code right here, I think this brand new is like, I think $300, uh, $250. I got it for... 35 bucks with some other stuff. I actually end up throwing two of those things away because they're worth nothing. And I'm keeping the wheelbarrow that I got for five bucks for personal use. But I should be able to sell that locally for probably 100 to 120 bucks easily. The area around here is a big construction area, so that'll be gone in no time. I picked up a old Toyota Camry uh, radio right here with the CD player. I always pick these up if I can get them for cheap. I got that for $10 and it should sell probably for like 40, maybe uh, 35 or 40 bucks plus shipping. This I thought was gonna be worth a little bit more money. This is gonna be like an old vice and it is a, let me see, it's called a little town. Uh, and when I look at these vices, I always look for like this anvil part right here and a flat edge and then on a swivel base usually means it'll be, you know, worth a little bit more money. And I paid 15 bucks for this. This was at a place where, I don't on this one. This was at a place where I had my GoPro on and I actually stopped filming. Um, he was like a, like a, you know, like a collector and stuff. So the prices were right on point where you could get them on eBay. But in South Carolina, you can uh, sell guns privately, you know, like third party and stuff like that. So that's not a big deal. The thing is, is that when all, you know, people are selling weapons and stuff and having a camera it just gets real weird. So I didn't buy any weapons, but there was one, there was a lot for sale. So I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and stop filming here because um, it is legal, it's 100% legal in South Carolina to do that. But people get a little weird when you're filming them, uh, you know, buying weapons. So that's where I got that at. There's no video footage. I actually cut the camera off because there was a lot going on. So uh, let's go back to the other stuff I bought. All right, and I picked up this really cool craftsman thing. Got this for $15, and the box alone, the only reason I picked the box, and I know it's a little bit rusted, and there's a big dent right there, but the box will go pretty good because it still has the tray inside. Now, I did take out, it did have these tools in here. Now, these aren't that great. Flare nut wrenches, and these will definitely go for probably 20 bucks. This is not a super high-end brand. This is a Master Mechanics, but in really good shape. This should go for probably about 10 bucks. And then you do have some US made stuff here. Again, not super high end. I think this is the same brand as the other one, yeah. And uh, these, because I have the whole set, should probably go for about another $30. I'm gonna be honest with you, the most expensive thing is probably gonna be this SK adapter. This one's gonna be old. And these joints sometimes can go for about $20. So uh, not too bad there on that pickup. And then we're talking about the stuff that I overpaid for, 100% overpaid for it. You saw me pick up these two things right here. They're bag carriers, and a lot of these are push carts for golf clubs, and a lot of these can go for a ton of money. Well, I thought that they were going to go for a lot more money than they were going for. I thought you could probably get like $200 to $300 a piece for these. Turns out not so much. Now, this one is a Top Flight TF360. Now, she sold me. She was a good salesman because this thing has a 360 wheel right here. Right, so it goes, oh, 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 it's falling, it's falling. There you go. But it's, it's not locked in right now. But this this goes 360 degrees around. A lot of times, they do not do that. So that's why I thought this was going to be worth more money. There's not any of these for sale on eBay. The last one I saw for sale that was a Top Flight TF360 was out of stock, and it was for $299. So it's not really, I have no idea how much this thing's actually going to go for. I paid 75 bucks for it. So I'm thinking definitely overpaid, but um, hopefully get my money back. And then I paid $75 for this one. This, this one is a bag boy right there. And see how this wheel is stationary and that wheel goes all around. So I think that one's going to go for more money. But this is a bag boy and uh, these can go for some decent money. Just, you know, you make your money when you pay for it, not when you sell it. So I messed up. But this is an Express DLX Pro. I think this one goes for about 150 bucks new, so probably only $75 used, and that's what I paid for it. But they're in really good condition, so not that bad. And I did, I was able for her to throw in this uh, old Nike bag. I don't know how much this is going to go for for the Nike bag because it is old, it's all you know used and everything like that. But it is vintage. This actually was assembled in the United States. Yeah, but see, it's all messed up right here. So I really don't know how much this is going to go for. 
I'm going to put it online in an auction starting at like 20 bucks and uh, see how it goes. I haven't really seen any sole comps on this purple one. So that's what I picked up on that yard sale day. I was off my game. Once I realized I overpaid for that one thing, I couldn't get it out of my mind. But luckily there wasn't a lot out there that day, so I didn't go and continue to mess up. Uh, but I don't think I'm gonna lose that much money. Like I said, I think I paid like 265 bucks for all this stuff. And I'll be able to definitely probably t maybe double to triple my money. It would just be a lot of work in some you know, local sales, which local sales are so annoying. Uh, for me anyway, a lot of people never show up and it is what it is. But uh, local sales really, that's where I, I'm gonna be selling this heavy stuff. Like you could probably ship this Hitachi, but the shipping would be insane. But I will, might actually with these um, push carts that I messed up on, I might try to trade them for golf clubs and then I'll be able to sell the golf clubs on eBay a lot easier than these things and probably make a little bit more money. So that's my plan. Uh, so I appreciate everybody that watches. I do these videos so you can go out there and find some of these items, flip them for yourself, and make some money. I really do appreciate everybody that watches, and you know I will always catch you on the next one.